Well, here we go. New project. I'm up on the second floor. Apparently, there's a nice size attic up, up top here. And this is the way in, this little tiny hatch. Well, we're gonna put this in. Nice attic ladder. And I'm gonna put it out here in the hallway, hopefully. Put it right here. Let me give you a little, little look in the attic, see what I'm dealing with. I think the hardest part I'm gonna have to deal with up here is the mice and the rat, rat poop mixed in with the insulation. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Right, let me turn the light on. Look at this attic up here. Oh dear, some moron with these wires. That's great. And you bend a nail over it too. But there's a lot of room up here. So what I need to do, looks like I'm gonna have to move this return here. For some reason, they got this return taking up all the space. But that unit over there is getting replaced. So there's no way they're getting a new unit inside this little hole that I fill. So the attic ladder is gonna help them too. But I'm gonna have to move all this insulation because my hole's gonna be over here. I'm probably gonna have to move that two by eight, two by six, whatever that is. Because that looks like where my stairs are going. Let's get it. All right, so I'm up here. And of course, where they put the little hatch, it's not the highest point. So when you come up, you're all discombobulated. You smack your head. So I need to be over where the peak is. So my door is gonna be over here somewhere. My uh, attic ladder. I just cut the return over there. So now I'm gonna slide this out of the way because that's definitely in the way. This is all getting replaced anyway, so no big deal. All right, so here we go. Move the return out of the way. Just put it over here for now. Here's where my attic steps are gonna be. So of course, I'm probably gonna to have to move a couple of wires, but I'll get the steps in first. I can always do that later as I'm putting the plywood down. I already got two sheets up here. I got a couple of two by sixes up here also because the rafters are two by sixes. It's unfortunate, but that's what they decided to do back then. All right, so I got four bays pretty cleaned out. Try to keep some of the donkey insulation from falling down on my head because I'm gonna go down in that hallway and cut this out. See what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna lay out the ceiling now. I just drilled two holes just to give me a reference point to make sure I cleaned out the right bays up there. So here's the ladder. So I need 22 and a half by 54 rough opening size. So that means since I don't have one already, I'm going to have to cut it 25 and a half inches by 57 and an inches because you got to add three inches for the frame and that I have to put in the two by sixes. So I got to add three inches for an inch and a half down there, inch and a half here inch and a half here, inch and a half here. So it's easier to just add three inches to each of your dimensions. Very simple.
Here we go. Prepare for the fungus. Yes. Just kidding, Rhea. Meaning that insulation. Because it's an itch fest. you up here doing it. We're not playing game, they're getting fungus on us. Two more legs. So I just put in number three. I can tell. The number three is way better. I'm missing what you're seeing a little bit to the left. Yeah, probably. Go pros a second. Yeah, number three has gone decent mode, apparently. Definitely. I like it. My 
right, so if I could do pull-ups, I'd be able to do pull-ups. Well, I just did pull-ups. Too heavy. Okay. Gotta do the other side, right, Clyde? I just had to come from that work, so. Did you? Yeah. I didn't get a little video, though. Oh, you got more lags. You can counter sync them. So yeah, three is the way to go. I'm not gonna sync these all the way right, so it's gonna be straight. I guess you go all the way on your back out a little bit, so it's straight. Oh, we make it tight. Didn't care, I think. Rock solid. Oh, when I pulled, I heard the step shake. That's not good. The steps are way over there, bud. I think I'm good. I'm good whistling. Ready? Okay. Sounds wrong. I do have to do another one down the end. Because I did 57, remember? What are you going to do? Two. All right, got my framing in. Now the kid's passing up the steps. I'm gonna try to attach this. Can you get in the middle of it? No, I mean, can you stand in the middle and hold it? All right, tell me when it's flush with the drywall. You gotta lift up. You gotta lift up, Ryan. Are you flush there? Down here, down towards the steps. Are you flush? Alright, so you gotta center it. See what I mean? Like that? Can you hold it there? Yeah. Ah, uh, never mind. Hold on, I gotta readjust. What's what's going on? The rim flush or the door itself? The door itself. Right. Flush with the drywall, alright? Yeah, it's close. Good? You ready? Yeah. Is it flush? Well, we can always readjust it once I open it. <sighs> you good? Yeah. Not enough time. Is that good? Yeah. Alright, you want to lower down the ladder? Can you push it down? Yep. Where's the string at? It's not attached? Install it. Alright, hold on. You ready? Yeah. It's hung up. Something's wrong. Is there still zip ties on it? I don't know, let's see. You got it? Yeah. Alright, so yeah, you're gonna have to leave it like that. And now we're gonna have to work on it, alright? Yeah. So you got the stool? Yeah. Alright, so you're gonna have to hold this flush. You know what I'm talking about? You gotta hold it flush with the drywall, not the framing. I think it's good. Gotta make sure. It's good, both sides? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. All right, let me 
you take the uh, the other legs out. So I guess what we can do here, right, is add shims, right, and then run the bolts through the plate so it's real strong right where the heavy part is. Grab that. Got one more. Take the bit. Oh, wait, I'm going to need to take this side out. So you got to get on the other side with the stool, and we got to get that level with the drywall. Then we can do the sides, all right? Remember, I got to take the screw out first. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, I'm taking it out. Let me know when you're flush. You sure? You sure? Go ahead. All right. Now check at the door. Well, that's why I asked you to check, dude. You gotta, you gotta know what you're doing here. Hold it. You got it? Oh, now I gotta play games again, so. No, I have to re-drill now. I can't hold it still. I'm not a machine. No. Is that where it's got to be? Yeah, you ahead. sure? No, I'm not sure. Let's try it. I can't keep drilling holes on. You got to figure it out. Is that good? Better. All right, now check the both ends. Check the side and the side. Make sure it's good with the drywall so I can put more screws. Yeah. You good? Uh, stupid hinge is getting away. Did you check the center? It's Over here, look. The center here. I gotta look look at me. Yeah. You gotta check it, make sure it's good with the drywall. Did you check it? Check that side. Because once I put them screws, I can't change them. All right, see if it goes up and down nice. got some caulk and some paint and it'll be done down here I'm gonna fix this trim a little bit I'm gonna have to push it up I'll do that later after I bring the door down but I just wanted to show you so here's the problem I ran into see that there seven foot eight the ten foot three of course, my ceiling is seven foot six. So that says you need to take the ladder back. You can't do it. But uh, we did it anyway. So I didn't show you me cutting the ladder. This is how much of the ladder we had to take off. It's about three, three feet, something like that. So it tells you not to, not to take that much off. But we did it anyway, and we figured it out. I'll show you. So I'm going to have to fold it down and then I'll come back. All right, so let me fold this. So this is the problem. See the two little stubs I have? It should at least go to the next rung. So you'll just grab this and flip it up and it would flip both of them. But... Of course, I had to cut mine shorter. So you gotta flip these up. Flip this one up. It's hard to do it one handed, these are tough. Wow. 
All right, so what happens is these are feet that come in the kit that you have to bowl on yourself. One bowl on each side it comes with. So uh, the problem is, you see this plate, this hinge plate here? That causes these to flare out. That's why it was supposed to be longer. But it still works. So the feet themselves look crooked, but they're tight. So let's check it out. Oh, they're tilted in a little bit. No big deal, still works. Let's go up. It says it holds 375 pounds. I'm 280. Let's see. Beautiful. Can't see up here because the light's not on. So this is done for now. I, I got to do a little painting and stuff. I'm not going to show that in the video. The video will be too long. But I'm also going to put plywood up here, put a subfloor in so she can store stuff up here and, and probably change the lights. I'm going to put all LEDs down. I'm probably going to have a railing around this ladder so nobody falls. And I'm probably going to put a light switch and an outlet here. So when someone comes up, they can flick the light switch, turn the lights on. I don't know. I may have to do a two-way switch and have a switch down here. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But this is done. Feels nice and sturdy. It doesn't cry when I climb on it. So that's good. When something starts crying when you're cli climbing on it, that's no good. Get off of it. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for this video. I don't know if I like these uh, shock absorbers to pull it up. I think I prefer the springs like the old school ones have. Because I'm sure these shock absorbers are going to go bad in a couple of years. And you won't be able to get them. They'll be discontinued. Because that's what these companies do. They discontinue and force you to buy a whole new setup. So I don't know how long before I'm done in the attic, but when I'm all done that, I'll upload another video and put it at the end of this.